This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist, and we're going to talk about running inside veer versus a 4-3 in nine-man football. A lot of times inside veer works better because you can't get outnumbered on the perimeter, and if the defense forces a pull pitch, you'll be better off because you're moving everything one hole wider and reading those people. So a lot of times in nine-man football, it's better to run inside veer, especially in a situation like this. So what's going to happen is the guard is going to make an ace-ace-ace call. That's a center guard double team. He is going to zone step with his right foot, take a second step and put his left knee through the crotch of the two technique, slam his left hand through the stomach of the two technique and take four inch north pound steps from there. The center is going to snap the ball, run to the guard's hip, and then he's going to put his right knee through the crotch of the two tech. Right hand to the stomach, four inch north bound steps from there. What you're trying to do is you want to make a two, a two eye at the snap. The backside guard is going to block the spine of the center. The backside end is going to block the spine of the backside guard. The play side end, even though it's an ace call, he doesn't need to protect the B gap because the mic can't run through the B gap. So he'll outside release and block the mic. So he'll get in front of the mic that way. The A back is going to arc it because you got one, two, three. So he's going to take three flat steps, step at 45 degrees, and put his left knee through the crotch of the safety. Now for the triple option. The quarterback's going to take the snap, jump play side, point the ball. The B back sprints through the ball, sprints through the play side, hip of the guard, sprints through the end zone, unless number one cancels the B. And if that's the case, the quarterback will reseed the ball, step with his play side foot, replace number one, and score. And if number two can tackle him, the quarterback will stop his feet and flick the ball to the A coming around. The cadence is down, ready, set, hunt. On the Y and ready, he's going to take a big wide 90 degree step, two 135 degree steps, and turn up at 60 degrees to catch the pitch, hit the seam, and score. As soon as he turns up, he's got to get his eyes on the quarterback and he's going to get ready for that ball to get pitched. But he wants to be, the, if the quarterback pitches from there, he wants to be there when the ball gets pitched. So you want the pitch to be parallel. You want the flick to be parallel. So that's inside veer versus a 4-3 in nine-man football. Coaches, if you want to win more games in 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number is on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website. The Triple Option Football Academy for nine-man. The Triple Option Football Academy camps for nine-man. We'll show you how to run the nine-man triple option offense the right way the first time. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that have come from the camps in the academy. The academy for nine man is nine ninety seven. You get the academy for two years. Camp started in 1997. The academy is included with the camp. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com to learn more and then give me a call. I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk soon.